Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder in this table diffusion tutorial we're going to see the importance of negative prompt please use negative prompt and the reason why i titled this video please use negative prompt is because a lot of people have been jumping the gun and saying stable diffusion 2 is bad because they are using the same prompts that they were using in the previous version of stable diffusion and they're expecting the results to be the same but it is not how it is going to work and you need to use negative prompts and this video is going to focus particularly on negative prompts and its importance first let's start with an example so if you see this image i've given a prompt saying close up photo of a beautiful teen girl on a sunny day and um, my guidance scale is 9 and number of steps is 40 and this is a 768 by 768 image and the seed is 42 and for these parameters you could see that this is the image that i've got pretty scary and it doesn't look good at all but on the other hand for the same parameters for the same prompt if i add negative prompts such as you know cartoon 3d disfigured bad art and this is a beautiful girl that i've got and this is indeed a beautiful girl because this is how the stable diffusion 2 is going to work and it's not just me a lot of people have figured it out for example if you see this tweet from fabians so you could see that i was initially part of the more like 0.2 camp which is making fun of stable division saying that 2.0 sounds like 0.2 but don't judge before trying it with negative prompts for example for photos add something like oversaturated ugly 3d render cartoon grain low risk kits adding these as negative prompts help this user create photos like these these are photos created using stable diffusion now you know what let's hear from the man himself imad so imad has been using a lot of negative prompts negative prompts like ugly tiling poorly drawn hands and so on and the reason why is because um, a twitter user asked and then imad's answer is the model process de-duped and flattened the latent space because of that negative prompts and weighting has a huge impact and they are also going to add negative prompts to the dream studio but more importantly what is important for us to understand is negative prompts and weighting has a huge impact and you can see that that is primarily because deduping and flattening of the latin space which i do not completely understand what is happening over there but for us as an end user of stable diffusion it is very important to recognize that negative prompt is really really important for us to add for anything that we create so let me quickly give you an example this is even before stable division 2.0 but this is the default prompt creation like before giving negative prompts just with positive prompts i mean there is nothing called positive prompt but i'm just going to simply call it positive prompt simply for positive prompt you could see these creations but the moment you add negative prompts this is what you get so now we all know negative prompts are important and negative prompts are um, something like you can give deformed blurry bad anatomy disfigured poorly drawn and all these things these are like negative prompts and throughout the internet you have got a lot of negative prompts available for you to play with and then you can also try out yourself but if we have to talk to an og that is automatic 1111 as he or she claims that they are they are one of the first to add negative prompts to this entire stable diffusion universe and the way it has been explained is uh, like for example the way stable diffusion works is first it denoises the picture guiding it to look more like your prompt which is your positive prompt and that is called conditioning so you give something like you know i want a beautiful girl and then it is going to denoise the picture guiding it more to look like a beautiful girl at the same time it is going to denoise the picture to more look like an empty prompt which is nothing and that is called unconditional conditioning and at the end it is going to look at the difference of these two and understand what is the noise that is present in this difference and we have to remove that from the original image so that we can create an image that looks closely to what is the prompt here in this case a castle in a forest but when you use negative prompt instead of denoising the picture to guide it look like an empty prompt it is ideally going to denoise the picture to look like your negative prompt instead of denoising the picture to look like an empty prompt 
it is going to denoise the picture to look like the negative prompt that you have given which means if your prompt says a castle in a forest and the negative prompt says a grainy and fog so the first denoising is happening around castle in a forest the second denoising is happening around a grainy and foggy picture and now the difference of these two are taken and then your final picture is created and which means your final result is going to be more towards the former which is the positive prompt than the latter it's going to move sampling away from the latter which is the negative prompt there is a very nice example for example this negative prompt so what is the image that you're trying to give a colorful photo of a castle in the middle of a forest trees and you have got a lot of things without any negative prompt this is the image that you get and now when you add a negative from saying fog you can see that fog has got disappeared because fog is now vanishing from the image that you have created so in the latent space um, when the sampling is happening it's going to gear towards non foggy images when you say grainy it's going to remove the grains of the image you can see how the images do not look with grains and when you add fog and grain you can see this is the image that you would get and finally you know you don't want this purple color so you can say fog grain purple and then this is the final image so without negative prompt this is the image that you got and with negative prompt and this is the image that you have got and this is been there even before stable diffusion 2.0 but the main thing is like imad said like a lot of people have been figuring it out stable diffusion 2.0 has higher weightage for negative prompts so if you do not give a negative prompt this might be the beautiful teen girl that you would be getting but on the other hand if you give negative prompt this might be the actual beautiful teen girl that you might be getting i just made another tutorial where i said a close up portrait of um a chinese teen girl studio lighting real cinematic and then i'm going to reduce the number of steps for now i'm going to keep it 30 and then i'm going to click generate without the negative prompt let me click generate without the negative prompt it's going to take a uh, 25 seconds but you can actually see in real time the difference and impact of negative prompt and by this time i can tell you that a lot of people have been literally copy pasting the prompt that they have been using before that's not going to work for a lot of reason one first of all the encoder has changed the clip encoder which means the text that you are giving before is not going to directly help now but again like the model process itself has changed as it seems like from what imada said so negative prompts are very important so this is what you have got close up portrait of a chinese girl chinese teen girl studio lighting real cinematic now i'm going to add some negative prompts here and then i'm going to say generate negative prompts are not necessarily supposed to be used only in this context okay you you could actually literally see the huge difference it's the same image because we have got the same settings same seed same guidance scale same steps but the kind of difference that you are getting now is huge because if i open this image in a new tab you can see the attention to details like stable diffusion is known for doing you know or any ai art is known for doing asymmetric eye um, but you can see very good the eyebrows are really good i mean it looks so perfect and uh, which is like partly thanks to the negative prompts that we have been using that makes this image look really good because the idea here is that you are telling stable diffusion you don't want these images for example i'll give you one final example before we move forward with this which is um on a sunny day with a beautiful or i should say a blue color car with let me see a blue color car and it is going to create a nice image most likely and now you know that there are certain essential things for a car like for a car you need something um, like for example tires or something like a car body so now what we can try to do is like while we have got a blue color car with this thing when you give prompts like i can say bricks and i say bricks most likely it might be removing the bricks from the background but currently we do not have a documentation and negative prompts what you can do is we have a lot of places where you can find a list of useful negative prompts most of these negative prompts that you see are related to human beings so if you want to see things that are not related to human being 
then you need to play around with that like how i am doing so you build something so the moment we said bricks you can see that the background has got changed so now without putting much effort keeping the same foreground image you manage to remove the bricks in the background basically road my assumption is that it's most likely going to replace road with something else i don't know if it can actually do it you should be playing around with negative prompts the same way you have been playing around with positive prompts because now okay it, it didn't make okay it made some difference the road is still there but it is trying to make some change so this is how you can play with negative prompts and that is going to help you create much better uh, wonderful things with stable division 2.0 and i would love to hear from you how you managed to do something with negative prompts using stable division 2.0 if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise please tag me on the pictures that you create i would love to see that see you in the next video